Hello, this is the Marcus Playable Filter. Basically, it's a noise source going through a state variable filter with the peak or resonance turned up really high so that it self oscillates, behaving like an oscillator. I can control the frequency of that self-oscillating filter by using my keyboard. That is why I can play melodies. As you could see, I'm using a ADSR envelope. So I can make really percussive sounds if that is what I want. And I can make long and uh, very ambient sounds, if that is what I feel like. That's a long release. So I made this patch for the Soya uh, to, uh, to use in the studio. This is a great trick if you want to like make any melody more uh, interesting. If you have a, a plain basic piano melody you can dub it with this patch to make it sound weirder or more beautiful or whatever you're looking for. It's, uh, it's a very usable patch I think. I just made it so who knows. Uh, I've added some parameters to the front page. I want to go through uh, so you can see it. Uh, this is the, the breath parameter. If you increase it, the breath decreases. I know it's weird, but that's how I ended up doing it. So now you hear more of the peak of that self-oscillating filter. And if you turn it down, you can hear the breath. That is the noise more vividly. I'm gonna turn it up because uh, then it becomes easier to hear this. I've, I've added some pitch modulation. You can hear the pitch wobbling. And if you want to increase the speed you can do it right here. It's hard to hear it, but there is a modulation in there. And that is kind of what I like about this patch. It's it's not like it's very hard to to grasp. It's it's like very airy and uh, wobbly in itself, uh, which is why it's interesting and fun, I think. Uh, if you want to uh, control that uh, Oh, wait, I haven't even told you. <laughs> okay, here it goes. That oscillating filter that functions as an oscillator rather than a traditional filter goes through another filter which behaves more of like more like a like you would expect a filter to behave uh, and that filter can be controlled via the mod wheel which is not a wheel on this synth but whatever <laughs> Such a long release. Uh, another way to control that second filter, that normal filter, is to uh, add some... Um, uh, add an LFO to it. And that speed of that LFO can be controlled by that parameter. turn that off. To make it even weirder and more interesting I've added a um, what's it called? Uh, a ring modulator that's the word.
which adds harmonics to make it sound, yes, even more weird. Now you can uh, also um, control that second filter uh, by using aftertouch. Uh, the aftertouch controls the frequency of that second filter and also it controls the resonance of it. So it makes sort of a hissy sound. Maybe we can just turn it down a bit here so you can hear it. I've also added a glide function, which, I mean, I, I got the inspiration for this patch from my Juno 60, which I use this way sometimes to to make, yeah, cool sounds, uh, to make a, a track stand out. And I don't think this is possible on those old synthesizers, but here you can do it, so you can add some glide. And in combination with that um, aftertouch, it becomes kind of a fun tool to use. You can hear it going out of control sometimes, so you need to be careful using this patch. But still, that's sort of what I want. I want it to be able to go like way further uh, out of control than uh, some people would. Okay, what's more? I've slammed a ghost reverb on this too. So if you want, you can go 100% super ambient with this patch. Creating like a drone. And as you heard before, it can also be really, really snappy and, and percussive if, if that is what you're looking for. Um, I think that's actually about it. So this patch is for anyone who has a track they, that they want to make a little bit more um, interesting. If you have a melody you want to really stand out, you can you can double it with this patch and it will sound much more interesting. This is the Marcus Playable Filter from Marcus Sintar. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. I will put it up on patch storage. So just go there and get it. I've named most of the parameters so you should be able to understand what they do. And if not, you can just watch this weird demo once more and uh, you will get it. So good luck. <laughs>